I set a bunch of traps last night for these rats in areas that I've seen the rats. The trap has not been set off. Well, we are in the barn at an area that we have found rats. Guys, do you hear that squeaking? There seems to be some sort of squeaking going on. I hear squeaking <gasps> right here, right here, baby mice. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. For those of you that are new to the channel, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. And by jungle, I mean I've got a bunch of crazy exotic animals. I've got sloths, monkeys, leopards, lemurs. The craziest animals you could possibly think of I have, I own here in sunny South Florida. So for today's video, if you guys saw, well, my dogs are barking, what do they see? Hey, hey, don't, do not bark at that iguana. Do not bark at it. My dog was barking at one of my iguanas. Well, today's video is not about iguanas. It's not about my dogs, but it is about rats invading my zoo. Here at my zoo, I have a lot of rats, and that's every zoo. Any place that you have animals, that you're feeding animals well, the rats are going to follow because the rats try to steal food, they try to eat the food, and I have a serious rat infestation. Just a couple of weeks ago, my sister was wandering around looking for rats and she found abandoned baby mice by the mother. She found those baby mice and guys, we're gonna be looking for baby mice today because I've been finding rat droppings. I set a bunch of traps last night for these rats in areas that I've seen the rats, that I've seen rat droppings. We're gonna be checking all of those traps and then I'm also going to be checking areas where there might be baby mice where my sister found baby not mice in the hay in the barn guys you're not gonna want to miss today's episode we might find some mice I'm not sure we might get a big rat in the trap guys there is only one way to find out and that's by sticking around so if that sounds like something that's interesting to you guys well you're in the right place and we're gonna hop right into it now the first place that I actually set a trap yesterday was actually over by my macaws the rats love hanging out right over by the macaws right over here because of all the seeds and food that they drop that falls to the bottom. Now I try and clean it all up, but the rats are around. There's really no way to fully get rid of the rats. If you have animals, just know that you have rats. So here are my macaws right here. We've got Mr. Kalik and our pretty rescued girl right here. Now I brought one of Kalik's favorite snacks and we're actually gonna be giving Kalik that snack before we actually check the trap. I haven't even looked at the trap yet, but we got his favorite snack of all. We've got a delicious peanut. So Mr. Kalik, I have oh he's already being mean. He, Kalik, Kalik, why are you why are you mean, bro? Why are you mean? Kalik, I have your favorite treat, but you must come this way for it. You must come this way. Come get your peanut boy. Come get the peanut. Kalik sees the peanut and he's like, okay, well I guess I'll be nice to you for the peanut. Come here, come get it. Come get the peanut. Come get it. You almost got it. Oh up, oh, he loves it. Kalik is ah he tried gave you a peanut and you bite the camera. What the heck, man? All right, the macaws are distracted. They're eating their little afternoon feeding. Because it's gonna be cold, I gave them some seeds so they can have all the fat. It's gonna be a little bit chilly tonight for them, and now I'm looking at the trap, and bad news, guys. The trap has not been set off. Look at this. The trap has not been set off, but the bait is empty. The bait's not in there. Now, you put the bait in that little part, and the rats, I'm gonna show you how the trap works for those of you that are new here. I was hoping that, that this trap was going to be set off, but basically what you do is right in that little black area, that little circle, you put your bait. And that actually attracts the rats. Once you put the bait in there, the rats are gonna smell it. They're gonna kinda make their way and crawl over here. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna come here and then they're going to snapshot just like that and it's gonna trap them, it's gonna grab them. At least that's the goal. That's actually what I'm aiming for every time I set the traps, that, that's gonna happen. But a lot of these rats are super smart. So you set the traps but they somehow managed to steal the food without setting the trap off. I have no idea how they do it, but these rats are a lot smarter than you think. So I set this one trap right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be rebaiting this trap. Um, we're gonna rebait this trap, so let me get some bait. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, I've got my trusty bait right here. We're actually gonna be using some parrot pellets. So since they're eating that parrot food here, that's exactly what we're gonna bait the trap with. So we've got our trap right here in the same spot. So what's really convenient about this is they leave this nice little hole. So we're just gonna put one pellet, two pellet, and uh, three pellet right here. And what we wanna do is we wanna compress it. We wanna smush it down as much as we can so it's harder for the rats to actually get it out. So they can't just pull it. So we push that down nice and hard. Would you look at that? We have the bait in the trap. Now, how you set it now is you literally just open it up just like this. And once it clicks in place, wait. Come on. Okay, we got it to work. Now that it's clicked in place, it's set. If I were to put my finger through this, I think 
think I'd break a finger, so I'm not going to do that. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to leave this trap right here, up here, because these rats actually climb up this tree from the roof, and they use this tree to hang out in the tree. The birds are right here. Now, ideally, I'd be able to put the trap on the floor right here, but I cannot do that because I've got my big crazy guard dogs over here, and they might go eat the trap, and they could get the trap stuck on their face. I don't want that to happen. Zena, Hello! How you doing? Hey, if you see any rats ever, you must eat the rats and you must you must eat the rats. Do you hear me? Hey, do you understand if you see rats, you must eat them? Guys, I don't think Xena is much of a rat hunter. She looks like she just wants some belly rubs. Oh, it's so nice. You love the belly rubs. So good. So nice. So now that we checked trap at number one, we were unsuccessful. We rebaited the trap. Well, guys, we're going to go right over here, right where I keep my servals. We're going to check the trap that I put over here because if you guys have been following the channel, those of you that have been here have followed along, well... My sloths used to be out here, and when the sloths were here, we were dealing with a serious rat problem. So guys, let's check our trap and see what we caught. Well, we're just about to check the trap at the serval enclosure. Now, like I was telling you guys, we've set traps here before. We've got Cheech and Chong outside right now playing with their palm fronds. Now, guys, I have not looked here, so let's go on in. We got a tight little fit right here in between the enclosures. Now, I put the trap in the rain gutter because the rats actually run across my roof at night. I've seen them several times, so they run across the roof. So I set the trap inside of here and let's look one two oh no oh no 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 oh no this is this is not good oh my goodness the trap has been set off there's nothing in the trap they must have licked every last morsel of peanut butter that i put on there last night but right here look at this there is a dead amoeba lizard this right here is an invasive species that we have here in south florida if i had to guess Cheech and Chong, my servals, they might have caught this guy, bitten him, scratched him, and he ran over here. But look at this. Little lizard, little tegu-like lizard. And these are one of my favorite lizards to find in South Florida because if you look at them, they have this insane, crazy blue and green colors. Cheech and Chong are definitely the ones that got them. I mean, it only makes sense. Anything that enters their enclosure, any little lizard, they try to run, get it. Let's see if they want them. Cheech, Chong, hey guys, look, I have a lizard for you. I have a lizard. Do you want the lizard? Comment down below, guys, right now. Do you think Cheech and Chong are the ones that attack this lizard? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm thinking that is what happened. So, we didn't find anything in the trap. These rats are extremely smart, but we did find this poor amoeba lizard. So, guys... Oh, my gosh! Oh, did you see that? That scared me so bad. Chong reached through and slapped the lizard out of my paw trying to get it. Chong is trying to get the lizard right through the fence so guys we better get out of here with this thing and go check for baby mice one hour later well now that we checked both of our traps and we were unsuccessful in catching a rat in either well we are in the barn at an area that we have found rats i've literally found mummified rats in here around the property ones that are literally like crisp and the rats especially love to go up in this hay and have their babies they love to hide up in there hannah a couple of weeks ago found some baby rats in here so I know for a fact the rats are in this barn, so without further ado, guys, we're going to go in here and we're going to start searching for them. Because this is insulated and provides a lot of shelter, the rats absolutely love it. So what we want to do is we just want to kind of just come here and start sifting around, and I just want to start poking the hay. And when you start poking the hay, wait, there's a little pocket in here, and you'll find these little pockets, these little tunnels that these rats will dig out, and they'll actually sit here and kind of dig at it just like this and then create little tunnels. So last time Hannah was here, I wasn't here. I don't know where exactly she found the mice, but I know for a fact that they were up in here. So I'm just reaching and feeling. And if you look, there's a spot right here that goes all the way back in here. Now, the one thing about this hay is it makes my allergies go really bad. So I don't want to get it all crazy. And oh, right here, right here, look. There's a little bit of pink right here. <gasps> a baby pinky mouse, but I don't think he's alive. Look at this. Guys, wait, wait, do you hear that? Get closer, get, get right here. Do you hear that? Get, get it right here. Guys, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Listen, there's little tiny squeaks. I hear, I hear squeaks right here. So we found this one pinky mouse. He doesn't seem to be alive. What, uh, there's little tail movement. He looks like he may have just passed away. So we're gonna put him right up top here. But guys, do you hear that squeaking? There seems to be some sort of squeaking going on. 
Is it is it coming from down here? Wait, it's coming from here. It's not coming from it's not coming from this top one, but it's coming from here. It's coming from here. So these are what you call sheets of hay. The hay is divided into these little sheets. I hear the squeaking. I hear it. All right, we want to shake it. Are we seeing anything? Guys, I said I wasn't going to shake it. Oh, I hear squeaking. I hear squeaking. <gasps> right here. Right here, baby mice. Okay, there's one, two, three. Is there any more? Oh my goodness, guys. I heard the squeaking of the baby mice in here. Now, I'm not sure if there's any more. Oh, right here, another one. Is this guy alive? I think that this one has passed away. Oh, there's minimal movement on him. There's minimal movement. Guys, this is absolutely insane. We are dealing with a serious rat infestation here. Little tiny baby pinky mice. I estimate these are maybe four or five days old, maybe less. I am not sure, but this guy compared to them is looking a little purple, like he's not going to make it. Now guys, this is absolutely insane that we found this right here. Well, we have got to continue searching in here. And honestly, these mice right here, looks like they were abandoned by the mother. And because of that, mice this small are not going to make it. So they are most likely going to pass away. Not most likely, but most definitely. And well, that is all I have today. I've got to get searching. I've got to see if we can find more mice. So that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, finding these five mice. We found one, two, three mice that were alive. Absolutely insane that we found these little mice right here. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for these two poor mice that didn't make it. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see us look for more mice. You want to see us trap more rats. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, all you got to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.